What is up, everybody? It is Alex from Heavy New York here at Aftershock Festival in 2022, and we are here with bandmate Doma Arigato. Thank you for being here. So the latest EP that we have is Unleash. Is this like meant to be a sort of like a, a new beginning after uh, your last album, Unseen World, or is this like a preview of what is to come for Bandmade? So, EP New EP. New EP one, yes. Uh, okay. So new EP, they made a new EP because of this you know, pandemic. So they people couldn't do anything well like that. So kind of like lots of stress, but something want to do, do. And that, that's, they made it that for EP. Mm -hmm. you, you have a lot of albums out now. And yeah. um, how, I'm wondering, you put out a new album every single year since pretty much 2013. I mean, you, uh, since Made in Japan, uh, and you kept a new album coming out from new beginning onward. How do you constantly stay inspired, and where does your sources of inspiration come from? <laughs> Okay, so they really, really love to do live, you know, out music. So that's why he, they want to, you know, make music a lot. So not only Japan, but also, uh, you know, if you uh, make album, not not only Japan, you can listen to all over the world. So they want to send music to all over the world people. Yeah, and we're. Uh, uh, So they want to world dominate. So you know now you can download the music as well. You know Europe, Asia, or United States. If the people all over the world listen to their music, world domination will be completed. Hell yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Uh, and speaking of world domination, next year, 2023 marks 10 years since the formation of Band Made. Uh, what could we be expecting to celebrate in this quest for world okay. domination? Line in the Jushune. Also, they didn't expect that they could do like play 10 years. So they are also surprised, but also glad. So they want to do, you know, sing and make music more and more and more. And the final question I wanted to ask you is, is are you uh, uh, Japan has such a great music scene with bands such as Bizu and Durin Gray. Okay, okay. Yeah, Durin Gray, the Gazette, A9, and so many great bands. And Nemophilia was just here a couple days ago. How has the music scene been in Japan, and are you also inspiring uh, each other as well? So, in Japan, how do you music scene in Japan? It's a so Japan rock music is not as not as you know not as famous as United States you know like uh, but they want to they hope Japanese people listen to rock music more yeah I mean I it just amazes me that Bizu is one of the biggest bands in the world and nobody in the US knows who they are uh, okay Bizu mitai na New York ni nai kara atte after Bizu, I think not famous rock band in Japan. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Oh. So that's well, why they want to spread more rock music in Japan. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, uh, so that is not usual. Like, girls play rock music in Japan. Like, men rock bands are some, but women's rock music, no. Uh, well, we got to make more of it happen. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So before we go, I want to thank you so much for your time today. Just what can we be expecting from Bandmade in the future? Bandmade, no. What is your goal? Is there anything you want to expect from Bandmade? World domination. Yes. Looking forward to it. Guar was just here a couple days ago and they're trying to dominate the world too. We might have a war on our hands. The band came here and said the same thing about world domination. They said the same thing about it. Yeah, they want to world domination with music, rock music. Hell yeah. Thank you so much, everybody. We are here with Bandmade. This is Alex from Heavy New York. 
We will see you next time. Aftershock 2022. Sayonara.